26th of May 1990. We've just come down to the beach to get some leaves for the possums and there's a plane that's made a forced landing on the beach. So there you go. Pretty interesting. Nikki's here. Yeah, how amazing is that? Yeah. You can see the tracks along the sand here as it's come in. So just as well no one was in the way, I can imagine. So. <laughs> it wouldn't be good on a summer's day, would it? No, no, pretty exciting. You can see the tracks in the sand. Must have landed just down there. Oh well. Nice day. Nice surf. Lots of media attention. Flight aircraft expert Nikki is here with us today. <laughs> She's going to give us a little bit of a rundown on what happened. Right, okay. Well, apparently they were having um, some sort of engine problem and realised that they could only get back to land by coming down on the sand. And so here they've touched down, run them on, and gone up the hill on the beach to come to a very well-deserved stop. So my understanding, and there's a bit of a rumour going around, that they didn't have any gin and tonics on board <laughs> and they've stopped to go to the, to the bottle o at Narrabeen Bottle Shop. What do you think about that? Is is that true? Oh, look, I think without a shadow of a doubt. 